All right, guys, what we're working on today is a Ford 7.3 diesel in a 2003 E550. This is a passenger side head. I'm looking at it from the rear of the engine, or I'm actually in the cab in the doghouse. Many of you will not have this access, um, but in the van bodies, at least the E series, the E probably 350 and above, will have decent access to do this. Um, but that's in the middle of the head. You can access it from either side. What you're looking at is where the high pressure line connects to the oil rail or the oil jacket which feeds the injectors. What I'm doing here today and what I've been dealing with is a P1211 code which is your injection control pressure above or below ideal. Mine, based on scanner information, has been largely below. I'd also have a high IPR during startup. Now I've already already replaced the high pressure oil pump twice as once it actually failed I went to also replace the IPR and ICP all OEM parts in here um, which is important in the 7.3's as I've learned. But so what you're looking at is the passenger side head and that is the plug in the rail where the line would normally connect to feed the injectors. I also have a crossover installed on the rear, which many have, many do not. If you do not have a crossover, you'll have to do this test individually or each head separately um, as it will feed air or oil across from head to head. This makes my life easier because I can feed air into one port either head and test for leaks. So that's your passenger side, and you can actually see I've got an air hose running through here and around to the other side. Getting over to the driver's side, what I've got going on here, it looks complex and it's way more complex than you would actually need. You could just as easily do any nozzle, any air nozzle I'm going to show you here, such as this little guy with a rubber tip that you could just simply put into the head and get a decent seal. I've heard, this is also known as a Cody test, I've heard 100 PSI is essentially the benchmark or what you're going for and that's what I have my shop here set up at in order to do this. Um, so again, I was by myself so I didn't have the luxury of having someone hold the air nozzle so I ended up installing this valve with a kit that I got online to test uh, high pressure oil lines and also do an air test through the IPR. I was able to diagnose that uh, I, my problem was likely in the heads or the injectors themselves as everything else was new. You should always test your base oil pressure and your fuel pressure prior to going this deep into it. I found that I had 50 psi base oil pressure at idle and up to 80 or 90 uh, upon giving it a little throttle and my oil pressure under load was also good at around 55 or so. And so do those tests prior to digging this far in. Uh, so what I have is the shop air connected to the driver's side uh, snap to connect line or high pressure oil line feed. You can see just up the rail toward the front of the motor is the ICP right there and that again that's a OEM one and so just behind that is where I have the air plugged in you could do either side whatever is easiest for you and then there again is that's where my crossover feeds through so right now the air is shut off the valve is at a 90 and no air is flowing when I turn this valve open you may be able to hear that sound right away and what you're hearing is a number eight injector sending a little air in what's left of my oil out through the spigot. Because I just reinstalled these after replacing O-rings, thinking my O-rings had to be bad. I had gotten replacement injectors, as you can see, from SoCal injectors, which I have to talk to them about this. Uh, but Apparently, the internal guts of this number eight uh, were bad, but you could not tell under idle. When I was running this engine, it mimicked exactly what the other cylinders were doing. It looked entirely the same. 
no change as far as how much oil was coming out the spigot, at least at idle. My code and the problem I was having, the P1211, only showed up under heavy acceleration or when it was windy. Mind you, I have a box truck that's 24 feet long and 13,000 pounds empty, so my under load and heavy acceleration will be different than someone that weighs six or 7,000 pounds in an F250 or 350. Um, but you can hear the gurgling here. I'm gonna let it, let you listen and illustrate the change in sound when I put my finger over the little spigot. So, as you can see, that's most likely my problem. That should not happen as I understand it. All the other injectors are not making any noise. From the front of the motor back, and as I go back to the passenger side, you can actually hear the difference over here. It is quiet. No leaks, no sound, no gurgling. Number eight injector, clearly leaking. So this is important to do this test prior to pulling your injectors because that's a lot of work. You could save yourself a fair amount of hassle. I've had to learn the hard way, but I'm hoping some of you guys can use this information to help you. It's a little bit of a pain to pull the lines, and if you have the right tool for the snap connect, which I do, you can also just disconnect those and get plugs also, but it's easier to round up the threads. I think they're GIC type fittings that just go right into the head. So again, I hope this video helps someone. I'm not a shop or anything of that nature, but just a guy who's looking to save some money. Enjoy. And again, this is to solve a P1211 code and to test using 100 PSI or the Cody test. Thank you.